hey guys welcome back to the channel so i decided to do a little filming today and show you guys my planner setup um my companion and my sticker binders so um and another project that i'm working on as well so this is my chunky planner and it's only chunky because my printer doesn't print on the back side um so this is um mostly my planner with some other inserts so this is my inbox type thing um i don't know what you call it dashboard i guess um it's my little logo on there it's got a glam sitting in front of the window you can see her and she cute i love her um we have a vision board that i made um i had three separate vision boards and then i just combined it all three onto one page as you can see these are the notebooks here that i created that are on sale on amazon um and um people have tagged me in um their tags on their instagram and facebook accounts showing me the notebooks and um how they're using them which is just fantastic um i love these notebooks um this is my planner pj365 um, i have some traveling um a traveling vision board here um success my books here and then just some cozy cafe book reading stuff over here let me see oh and i have some coffee in my ray dunn mug i'm gonna use coffee this was my first ray dunn mug i have this one I have two orange ones. One of them says beware and the other one says spooky. But I like this one. It's really, it's a baby pink. It's perfect. Mm. Mm. Now I do have a table of contents. Um, these are just, um, I think these are freebies from the Passion Planner website. Um, if y'all can see that or not. Um, but I have added some more sections in here that I haven't wrote down yet. Um, this is just a little divider that I use some washi tape on, um, cover from a notebook. Another little um, vision board that I made into like a little uh, bookmark. My PJ365 cover. I made this cute little um, dashboard with um, bow cutouts that I did on my Cricut. Very cute. And this is a 2024 and 2025 um, at a glance calendar. This is some dates that's um, specifically around planners and writing. Um, like I have Sarah Cannon's, um, double down day dates, um, her virtual writing retreats. Um, I will be taking the, her Publish and Thrive and HB90 course, I think at the end of January, um, January 13th is National Sticker Day. So I just have those, um, written down here. And then the next page is, um, my birthday, um, at a glance. So I, I didn't put any names on there, but the letters I know. So this is my birthday right here. And then I have Hello, Hello Kitty's birthday is November the 1st. So I decorated that with a little Hello Kitty sticker. You see Hello Kitty? She's so cute. And I got these um, stickers at Five Below. If anyone is interested. Again, this is a free printable from Passion Planner from Contacts. 
Um, I have some, um, I like how I worded this, let me show you. So right here, if you can see it, it's very small, but I have B for books, M for movies, S for shows, P for podcast trackers. Um, but it, all my trackers goes in this section here. Um, a bill and budget tracker. Um, finances for bills. And then this one is going to be finances for things that I want and need. As you can see, um, I want a gaming PC. Um, I have some things on Happy Planner, uh, the Happy Planner website. Um, I have multiple Amazon um, things. I need some printer ink and printer paper. Um, I have a gift tracker, some habits, which my habits are pretty much the same. I just use this one for things that I'm currently doing, um, like retyping um, my uh, book one, Haven, uh, writing, reading, video games, studying, uh, Publish and Thrive, and HB90. Um, I do need to put the LSAT on here too because I do want to get back into studying the LSAT and if no one knows what LSAT is it is the law version of the SAT um, I did go to college um, briefly for criminal justice and paralegal studies and I just you know want to tap in the LSAT um, just to kind of wake up my brain a little bit um, so yeah um, I started writing down all the stickers that I have. Um, this section here is all of the stickers that I got from Happy Planner, um, Paper Studio stickers. I have more stickers like the ones from Five Below and things like that, which are these ones right here. Uh, these came from Timu, and then these are Happy Planner stickers here. So I just kind of decorated that page there. Um, these, this is personal on this side. This is like um, emails, um, passwords, things like that. So I'm going to keep that covered. So this is a book tracker. And this is also a free printable on passion planners. Um, and so far this year, I've read uh, one book, which is Shadow Crown by Kristen Martin. Um, I just finished her series of the Alpha Drive, which I enjoyed it, you know. I'm just getting to where, you know, I kind of ignore grammatical errors or wording. I just read to enjoy the worlds that other people create, you know, just, yeah. And it was, it was a fun read. I really enjoyed it. And the Shadow Crown, same thing. It, it's original, it's authentic. So, you know, I'm just ignoring all the gr grammatical issues with books nowadays. I'm just reading it to enjoy what another writer has created, you know? You can still enjoy a book with grammatical issues, you know, it's not a real big deal. So this came with it as well. I'm just writing down and rating. I really don't rate books, um, but I mean, I, I guess I really need to start, I guess. Um, music podcast. Um, I have Distractable by Markiplier. Um, if you don't know who Markiplier is, he is a YouTuber. He is fantastic. I love him to death. Um, but he does have a podcast called Distractable where he um, speaks with his friends Wade and Bob. So put that down there. And then I have Kristen Martin's podcast as well. Um, I haven't really listened to her pod podcast lately, but I just wrote it down just so that I can remember what you know i started so i can finish it and this is a trackers episodes um music um tracker so i have all the musics that i like and i have my k-pop music that i also like here i'm not sure if y'all can see this glare is something serious but bts stray kids victim Taman. Um, I listen to a little bit of Blackpink. Um, I'm more of a second generation K-pop listening. Um, actually I was listening to K-pop before it was 
called K-pop and it blew up. Um, but yeah, you know, my, my daughters introduced me to BTS and Stray Kids and Victor Entertainment while as I inter um, not interviewed, <laughs> introduced them to um, like Rain, um, 21, um, M Black, um, Girls' Generation, um, Four Minute, um, Miss A, you know, things like that. Um, moving on, I could talk about that all day. All right, uh, TV show tracker. Um, just recently finished all the seasons in Sweet Home. These are K pop uh, dramas. It besides Hey Jack, Hijack, Hey Jack, oh my gosh, it's early. Hijack, I only watched one episode of that so far. Um, Love Alarm is another K-pop drama. And then just started My Demon. Just watched the first one of that one. But these are K-pop dramas besides Hijack. Um, yeah. So I'm just, uh, shows this tracker. You can write down the episode seasons. And then you can just, I just marked off the episodes that I have finished. I can't remember how many episodes is in Hijack. I had to look that up. Movie Tracker, trying to keep um, a list of movies that I watch. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a lot, but it's all good. It's all good, it's all good. So this is something that I recently created. Let me see if I can show y'all. This is not my idea. I got this off of a YouTuber that I watched who got it from a the um, official person that created it. I just created my own version of it but this is a symptom symptom tracker um i think i'm going to start tracking like my mental health um progress um i am 41 so i am in that age of perimenopause and it sucks um so i have my ups and my downs so i think i'm going to do that for this one and i'm not sure about this one um I'll come up with something there. Um, and then I made one that's blank. Um, again, since this is not my idea, if anyone is interested, I can put this in my resource library for free if you want to um, print it out and use um, at your convenience. Just let me know. Um, just, just let me know in the comment section. I will add this to my resource library. Also created this one right here, which I have not yet filled out. Um, but this right here, what I'm going to do is it, this is a progress goals tracker, and my goal is kind of simple. Um, so like I will let me write it in pencil. Do I have pencil? Just in case I mess up, I can erase it. So I think I'm going to do it like. For example, um, here you could put the month, um, like it's January, so you put J, um, and then you write the date, and then the goal would be something like um, write Monday through Friday, um, write um, at least twice a week um, write um, at least six to ten pages and then or edit at least five to ten chapters so these are just kind of like tax tasks um with my writing schedule and then when i complete that i will mark it and then mark the days that i actually wrote so like if i wrote um if i only got tuesday tuesday in so i will put um tuesday um so that kind of okay just because i didn't write monday through friday i did write 
uh, twice a week. So goal completed, um, six to 10 pages, edit uh, five, 10 chapters, you know, something like that, something simple. Um, we'll see how it works, um, see if I keep up with it, but I thought that was a pretty cool thing and I like how it turned out. It looks very professional. Um, I did this on Canva. I usually make my um, worksheets on Procreate, but I tried Canva. And I have to admit, it, it was um, it was kind of a pain to do this on Canva, to be honest. But I did it, and it came out good. So, moving on. These are some printouts that I got. Again, free printables on Passion Planner. Um, just some kind of handwriting things. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all have already, already seen these when I um, did the first flip through. Um, prompts hasn't changed. Um, I did add these. These were also free printables on Passion Planner. Um, I think this is just going to be like an overview of what I want to accomplish during the week. So I usually try to write Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sundays for like reading, uh, gaming, things like that. Although I do write um, I do read and kind of game throughout the week. Um, so like Monday I would put um, retype HB1. Tuesday would be the same um, thing. And then like Saturday and Sunday would be um, reading and then um, video games and I really need to start stretching but this is just a little example um, again pretty sure y'all have seen that um, I did print out my um, worksheets from my um, writing workbook um my task would be of course um writing um retype edit things like that any notes i need to also do uh, again project um like this right here would be um haven and then the subtitle, um, and then this would be Haven Manor, which is book two. And then this would be book three, which is the measure, the measures of love. And then any notes, goals would be to um, finish them. <laughs> um, let's see. I think this is the same um, yeah again another printable from passion planner um, just personal to-do list relax self-care I'm trying to get better at being nice to myself and not feeling guilty about it um, priority reading I should put writing well top priority would of course be writing Um, and then I have all of my uh, um, book writing related things. Retype, uh, finish, critique, edit, beta readers, and publish, and all that stuff. Um, priority would be reading. Um, video games. I am currently playing Stardew Valley on my PC, in which I have learned how to mod it, and it is so much fun. I may do a video of um, my Stardew Valley farm. It would have to be recorded on my iPhone because I'm working on a Mac that I split to um, have a Mac and then Windows. And since it doesn't have a graphic card, graphics card or um, graphics card, a um, oh gosh, what is it? Graphics card.
in a capture card. Um, I can't stream games. I can stream them, but they're glitchy, so I may do a little bit on my phone. Um, see, and then priority would be the classes that I'm taking, but then publish my books and to do Publish and Thrive and HB90, and then errands would be shopping, um, work to do would be LSAT, and I'm also, um, I have a philosophy book that I want to read. These are all of my uh, things that I want to do, um, like create a DIY planner, which I did, the PJ365. Um, last year, my goal was to read 25 books, I got to 23. Um, so I still have this one, read 25 books for this year. Um, and I just kind of highlight the ones that I've already done, you know, like buy Stardew Valley for PC. Bought that, so I highlighted it. Um, I think I added something in progress. No, okay. So I think that is it this size I can show you. Uh, my monthly layout, I guess. I guess I'm confused from monthly, weekly, and daily. I, I don't get it, but here it is. So this is January. Um, this is just time stamping. Um, usually it's pretty much the same. Um, and I wrote this little thing right here, <laughs> which I need to mark off because today is the 11th. There we go. And I did finish Shadow Crown. And some of the games that I'm playing is like uh, Stardew Valley, Roblox with my daughters. Um, I do have a Switch, which we played Mario Kart on. Um, again, this is basic, basically the same thing. I did do a sticker binder, I updated my planner. And this is when I start trying to get into more of the sticker using, um, which I like it. Um, had some coffee. Um, so cute. Played some Stardew. Um, I did create some grid stickers, um, but I don't have any more sticker paper, so I have to wait to do that. Um, I did write over 5,000 words for HB1 Wednesday on the 3rd. Um, I didn't write anything here, so I just kind of made up something. Um, I love these little stickers that I made. Um, reading, and then this is now, um, writing Tuesday, Wednesday, oh, I did write yesterday, so I did work on, pull this out, so I did, um, And I added over 9k words on that session. Um, I didn't get to play in Stardew Valley yesterday. Um, I did and I did read. Um, I read um, I'm currently reading on writing by Stephen King, which is fantastic. Um, he is epic and I love him to death. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I did, um, created a companion for my journaling cards. Well, homemade drawing cards. I'll show you guys that. 
Um, so yeah, I haven't filled out anything for today yet, which I will. Um, other than that, I think that is it for this one. Um, isn't this so cute? Look, I forgot I had this washi tape and oh my gosh, look, it's so cute. It's rainbows. And to, um, see, the 3rd of February is when the, f when, um, Double Down Day for Sarah Cannon starts, well, no, it starts in January, yeah, uh, January 6th is when it started, and then the virtual writing retreat starts on the 19th and goes through the 21st, um, but it is so cute, I think I did, I did March, and then I did, oops, um, July, which is my birthday month, and I kind I like the, the neutral nature stuff. Um, that's nature. Well, next, yeah, I guess it would be nature color. Oh my gosh, I, my this coffee is either working or not working. I can't tell. So October I did black since October is you know spooky, spooky month. And then December is the month of my daughter's birthday. So I did kind of rainbow color and I have to decorate August because that is my stepdaughter's uh, birthday month as well. So that is my planner. This is gonna be a long video. Cause I'm just gonna show you guys what I've been using. So let's put this big thing up. And I'm going to show you guys. <clears throat> so this is where I keep all of my, did I write on that? Oh my gosh. So this is where I keep all of my, um, my glue is coming off. A happy planner dividers. All of them goes in one binder. Just because it's easier for me to have everything in one binder and then the guts of it I <clears throat> put in folders so I won't have all these big notebooks everywhere so that's that and then I want to show you guys my companion I got this idea from Anna plans on YouTube so this of course is a old happy planner um, dated 2022 to 2023 and what this is, is I created these folders. They don't match and I don't care. Um, they don't match, but you know what I'm saying? It's cute, it works. Um, so what she does is she puts all of her stickers into a happy planner, which she calls a companion, which has all of the stickers that she uses for her planning. Um, so, I did that so these are the ones that I have already like started using um, and then I have some of these I'm trying to get rid of um, and I just kind of just glued them onto um, a mini size paper insert thingy <laughs> um, and I have some of these focus plan on it um, sometimes here These are my stickers that I have in here. Um, YouTube stickers. Stardew Valley stickers. Some of the cars. These are so freaking cute. I am so happy with the way these turned out. I can't wait to make more of these little cars. Can y'all see them? Look at them. Aren't they cute? And these are adorable. I love these. I can't wait. I'm going to make so, so many more. Um, and then this is just a um, sheet protector. I think you could put like cards or something in it. <clears throat> but I double taped it to a had planner piece of paper and then just stuck some sticky notes on there. And then these are actually um, kind of like memo pad things that are actually stickers that I made. Um, and these are the ones that I did not feel like taking off and sticking anywhere. So these are just um, ones that I made as well. These are so cute. Look at there. <clears throat> and I also created a, a stamp 
with with these right here. So you can actually just do I have that? I don't know. Where is it? It should be done. I, I couldn't find it. Here it is. Yeah. So I created this design and then on Amazon, you can see it. I had them make me a stamp with it on there. Isn't that so freaking cool? I love it. I have so many designs that I'm going to use for these right here. So yeah. Um, so yeah. And oh my gosh, you guys. I printed this on the wrong side. So the sticky is right there, not on the sticker. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna use them though. Not wasting, no wasting here. Um, so I gotta have some little boxes on this one. Some stickers from the paper studio. Um, I forgot I put that in there. Some dots. So everything that I use is in this book. Some weather stickers, um, some happy planners. Now all these are my script um, stickers that I just glued on here. Um, so yeah, all these are script more paper studio stickers these are pretty some columns happy planners some weeklies and these monthlies no just weeklies some more school stuff which i'm not in school but you know i can still use them Boxes, strips, and then this back here is where I put all of the washi tape that I have on my cart that have not been put in a binder. Just some samples um, about the washi tape that I'm I have available um, on my cart specifically. Um, I still have a huge binder of washi tape, but I don't really use those right now. Um, and then I just laminated it to keep them intact. So it's cool. I can come in here and look like, hmm. Oh yeah, I have that one. So let me get this one and use it for a birthday party. You know. Yep. Isn't that cool? Um, and then I have some more stick notes in the back. Whoops. I am so sorry. So that is my companion. I need to add some um, journaling cards in here as well, and I will do that. Um, so next, the next thing I decided to do is to take the planner associated stickers and put them in binders. Um, because I now have a huge box with all of my stickers in it. And, you know, when I decide to plan in the bed, I had to take the whole box and I'm not doing that anymore. So I put them in small binders that fit on my cart. So we have um, weeklies, we have the dates um, here, letters, um, scripts, um, Grip, box, um, black and white, black, pink, and gold. So all of these are here. This this is what I did. I, I don't even know if these things are still. I laminated it and then stuck the stickers on. But to be honest, I don't even know if I can get them all. No. I'll do that later. I don't, I don't know. Put these nails. Okay. So that's this one. And then this one. It's like dots, uh, 
banners, strips, more boxes. Um, get into the planner ones. know what these were used for. I mean, lips, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, some color ones that you can actually color. Just super cute. Have some florals back here. And that's it. That one. So these are my planner associated stickers. Let's put these back. Also got this idea from Anna Plans, uh, but she used uh, she did this for her journaling cards, um, and I decided to do this for my memo pads that don't have the sticky on it. Um, so these are our memo pads that didn't have stickies, and I just cut them. I mean, not cut them, punched them with the happy planner, and stuffed them in here so i'm not having to look for them and i'm not ha having to take you know like the little books and stuff everything is in here um so i just cut them and put them in here in the next section are these ones um, i have different ones in here these ones this is so pretty These ones, I think these came from when I was subscribed to the Sticky Club. Some Halloween ones back here. Maybe that's all of those that I put in here. So when I go out, I can just take this notebook with me. One. And then this one is the ones that I made <clears throat> from like Canva. Oops, I'm sorry. So these are the ones that I made from either Procreate or Canva. This was like my first attempt at trying to make my own. Um, so these are my designs. This one's so cute. And then these ones are just the months, January through December. These are the ones I made from Canva. I'm going to go through all of them because most of you have already seen these from when I started making them. I'll put all these in here. Yeah. And then these ones in the back. I didn't want to disrupt the picture, so I just kind of punched them on the other side. Anime. And little book ones there. So that's that. And then, what I'm currently working on now, make sure my battery don't, doesn't die because it is at 20%. Uh, what I'm currently working on now is putting my old journaling cards in here, um, which are these ones. Again, I just punched them. This one is so cute. I love this one. So this is like all of my vintage colored ones. I think I'm gonna put these in the front. I mean, those are kind of vintage too. I definitely want my Starbucks ones in the front. So all I do is just snap them in one at a time. Of these, you guys. I mean, 
this is one stack that came off of all of these that I punched last night. I don't know what I was thinking when I cut all of those out. I really don't. But I saw someone else doing it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have tons of paper packs that are getting in my way, so why not cut them in smaller pieces? So that's what I did. And now I am putting them in one large notebook. And then if I want to divide them, like from the vent, I have some that are the corners are cut, and then I have some that are not cut. So I think I might use these trim them down and then use those as dividers. See like this right here is square cut, but I think with the vintage ones, I'm not going to bother dividing those because I'm most likely to use those a lot quicker. So I think I'm going just to divide the kind of my favorite colors from the other colors. And then I think after this, I'm going to play a little bit of Stardew. And then I'm going to get some writing in. Um, I did print off. So uh, for all of you writing, um, peeps. Um, I printed off um, the first new intro, I think, of um, book one. And I know these, this font is very, very small, but your girl was running out of paper and ink. So I did it on two per page. And what I'm going to do is um, number each line and then make a um, tracker to where when I get people to read it oh, my phone is about to die when I get people to read it um, they will put down the number that needs to be fixed or whatever and then I'll write that number down and then what needs to be changed so that way when I'm going back through it and editing I can just pick the number that needs work and specifically just go straight to that instead of having to read everything else since these are very small there's not a lot I'm going to be able to write so I just figured that I can do kind of a, a line tracker type thing so yeah and it's it was 60 how many pages is this in total? Ooh, yeah, that would have been. So it's 72 pages, and I was able to get it down to what, 32, 37 pages on this side. So that's that. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this for a little bit. And since my battery is about to die, I am going to chat with you all later. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Um, yeah. So I will see you all later. Bye.